it's Aaron with Twirling Down Main Street. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you're not new, then welcome back. Today we are having dinner at Cowfish with some of our friends. And this is our daughter Madeline. It's her ninth birthday this weekend. So we are celebrating her. So Cowfish is part of City Walk at Universal Orlando. It's right next to Red Oven Pizza Bakery and Viva Italian Kitchen. It is a sushi and burger bar. So they have their menu posted outside and it is a very expensive menu. So they have burgers, salads, appetizers, and then everything else is sushi. And then kids meals. This is a really cool looking restaurant. We are seated outside but it's screened off and then there's also heat lamps up there so it feels really good and it's warm in here but i just wanted to show y'all there's also like a whole bunch of indoor seating as well so they can fit a lot of people um, also the menu is on a qr code that you can scan and they actually have items that are marked as gluten-free and they have uh, gluten-free buttons as well i ordered the pb and j old-fashioned which is supposed to be screwball peanut butter whiskey which we all love and then it had, hold on. <laughs> so it has screwball peanut butter whiskey, full rows of small batch bourbon, which I also like, and then raspberry liqueur. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I have a PB&J, it's either grape jelly or strawberry jelly. I don't know who's putting raspberry jam or jelly on there. <laughs> and because of that, it's not that great. It's got a really cool ice cube though. If, if they would take the raspberry out and change it for something else and i like raspberry too but this doesn't work we ordered the parmesan truffle fries which come with parmesan cheese bacon truffles french fries and chives um, this one does not have seasoning on it because the seasoning was not gluten free so the truffle fries are really good even without the seasoning uh, i really enjoyed them everybody else really enjoyed them so i would really recommend them so uh, our friend got the firecracker roll and then he and Nick are splitting the cheese burgushi roll, which is like a cheeseburger sushi. And then Nick got the Dion roll. The Dion roll. It looks kind of fancy. It's got yellow something on top. That's mango. Oh, mango on top. That's pretty. I got the BLT with like extra cheese. It's the C B L T C something like that. I'll put it in um, on a gluten-free bun with French fries, spicy tuna roll. Yep. And then she got the spicy tuna roll. And then what did you get, Madeline? Go for it. I got the ninja nugget. And what size did you get? And orange. It looks really good. It came in a cute little bento box. Oh yeah, show me the Swedish fish. It's a rice crispy with a Swedish fish. That's so cute. The burgushi was delicious. Nick and I just both had one. Absolutely amazing. It's like a burger in one small little bite. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> What'd you think? That's interesting. That's all I can say. <laughs> Alright, so dinner was delicious. My burger was okay. The bun wasn't the greatest. Um, it was kind of crumbly um that's kind of how gluten-free buns do sometimes but it was really good the fries were good and the truffle fries were good and what did you think of your ninja nuggets they were amazing they were amazing and then what did you have your little sushi roll yes it was amazing as well. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah i would really recommend cowfish for dinner um everybody said their sushi was really good you wanna yeah my sushi was great it had uh shrimp crab and then it was topped with mango and avocado. It was really good. Highly recommend. Yeah, so we'd really recommend cowfish. So now we are going somewhere for a birthday surprise for Madeline. She doesn't know about it, but we are headed somewhere else in City Walk. We're headed to some chocolate emporium. So there was a line to get in, but that was a line for uh, people making reservations and stuff. So we just asked and we were to go, able to go up to this walk-up counter that's on the left. So Food Fulfillment is known for their ridiculous milkshakes. They're kind of coming up on the screen right here. So there's the cookie jar and that's mint and they have just all the toppings on top. There's also chocolate beans up there, or I guess cocoa beans, that are spinning. This 
whole place inside looks like a factory or kind of like steampunk vibes. I got the chocolate times five, which is entirely gluten free, and it's just a bunch of chocolate and strawberries, and that looks like chocolate whipped cream as well. And then Nick got the key lime pie one, which has a literal key lime pie slice on top. All right, and then they got the s'mores sundae. <laughs> Our milkshakes were fantastic. Was your sundae good? Yes. Yeah, it was really good. So. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. We had a really fun night celebrating Madeline's birthday, and we really recommend cowfish and then twosome for dessert. <laughs> Wear your mask, wash your hands, be safe, and we'll see you later.